Christians in Abuja, the federal capital, have taxed fellow Christians nationwide to be an example of love, peace, and good conduct as they mark the Christmas season. Plus TV Africa's Abuja team visited churches within the federal capital. Our correspondent, Amadine Uyi, reports. Christians trooped in their numbers to several churches in the city center. The much awaited December the 25th saw the Christ the King Catholic Church at Kurudu, almost filled to the brim. With music and dance, parishioners expressed their joy and celebrated the Mass. Also a trip across town to the family worship center, Karujikwe branch. So Pentecostals also marked the Christmas service in their own unique way. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. This man came for a witness, to be a witness of the light that all through him might believe. He was not the light but was sent to be a witness of the light. That was the true light which gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world and the world was made through him and the world did not know him. We dance and a reminder of the work of Jesus as the front runner of Christianity. Many of the Christians took time to explain the essence of the day. It's about the birth of Jesus Christ. And then when we say Jesus Christ, we are talking about the Savior that God himself sent to come and save humanity. So that is what Christmas is all about. Saving humanity through Christ. Today is just a day of remembrance and a day of reflection. A day for one to know that where you belong as a child of God and as a Christmas to remember the birth of Jesus Christ uh -huh, and to celebrate with it and to receive him right inside your heart. Christmas means the day that peace came to the world. Peace came to the world in the sense that God himself decided to reconcile with human beings by coming to the world in human form. Christmas is the day we remember that a Savior was born. God came down in human flesh. He loved us so much. He gave us his son. And the world needs to remember, especially at this time, there's so much hatred, suffering, and um, human beings are doing all kinds of things. But it's a good time to remember that we do have a Savior and he came to save us from our sins and he's coming back again they also had a word to fellow christian faithful my message to other christian uh, brothers and sisters is for them to understand uh, the purpose of the birth of our lord jesus christ for them to do the right thing for them to be the ambassador of christ my christmas message to other people god's protection, long life, and blessing. It's to celebrate it carefully and to remember the purpose of you celebrating Christmas. My message is we should focus on the real meaning of Christmas. We should focus on Jesus. What did Jesus bring to the world? And I say peace, reconciliation. So that is the real meaning of Christmas. Amadine Uyi, Plus TV Africa. Now, Christmas Day is not merely for celebration, but a day set aside to honor the birth of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. In Lagos, some Christians told our correspondent, Mary Chinda, that they have vowed to take up the examples of Jesus, especially in love and perseverance. Jesus is the reason for the season. So in everything that I do, I make Jesus first. The reason for the season is the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a, a day we rejoice that our salvation was born. It doesn't matter the timing, 
when Jesus was prophesied to be born, it wasn't that time that he, he was born. Those who prophesied about him did not live to really see him. So God, timing is not a hindrance to the manifestation of the prophecies of God. Papa talked about character, that we must be like Christ, Christ-like in all that we do. So I'm taking away with that for 2020. Go out to the streets. We have a lot of people out there who need to be ministered to through with our gifts and our kindness. So that is how I say Christmas. Not a day where you go out, club, you know, drinks and all. It's a day where you actually communicate and you know ask yourself this question: what is the reason? Meanwhile, Pope Francis has used this Christmas message on Wednesday to denounce attacks on Christians in Nigeria and other African countries. He also prayed for victims of conflict, natural disasters and disease on the continent. The Pope preaches comfort to those who are persecuted for their religious faith, especially missionaries and Christians who have been kidnapped, and to the victims of attacks by extremist groups, particularly in Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger and Nigeria. Now away from that story, the All Progressive Congress has enjoined Christians and all Nigerians to imbibe the lessons of the birth of Jesus Christ, to rededicate re themselves for the greatness of the country. A statement signed by its National Publicity Secretary Malam Lare Isa Onilu in Abuja APC described as momentous, special and significant, the birth of Christ Jesus. While Nigerians celebrate with their families and loved ones, the statement says they must fully appreciate the need to redouble efforts in the quest to ensure the peace, progress, stability and economic prosperity of the country. Meanwhile, some Christian clerics in Benue State have taxed the political class to use the Christmas celebration as a reason to show love and forgiveness. Speaking exclusively to Plus TV Africa in Makadi, the Benue state capital, they urged them to disregard political divides and party ideologies and promote unity and national integration. Our message to leaders, governors, presidents, and all those in authority is that they should show uh, honesty, integrity in their leadership. By doing so, they will not be corrupt so that they can be able to bring dividends of democracy to the people and then show love to mankind by giving to the poor, giving to the less privileged and to the society. They should be impactful. They will emulate what God has done. This is the time for sober reflection particularly in our nation, Nigeria, as we celebrate the birthday of Jesus Christ, he's the Prince of Peace. May we carry the message of peace to Nigeria, that the peace of this nation shall be from the north to the south, from the east to the west. Let Nigeria enjoy peace, and let Jesus Christ be enthroned as the Prince of Peace in this nation, so that there will be peace. Any other peace we are pursuing, without the enthronement of the Prince of Peace, we will still be pursuing air and we still be continue to have problems. And therefore, I'm encouraging leaders, let us pursue peace, and let that peace be founded on the foundation of the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, and Nigeria shall enjoy peace. This season is a very crucial season, and every appointed elected leader, especially in this democratic setting in Nigeria, is a season to show love. It's a season to show love. It's a season to forgive those that have offended them. Because, you see, God had to forgive the world in order to send his son. So the coming of the son of God is not just because he wanted to send his son to die. It's a sign of forgiveness. This is a season where leaders have to reconcile with each other. It's a time of reconciliation. It's a time that everyone needs to show love to one another. It's a time of reconciliation. So leaders have to reconcile themselves with other people, forgive those that have hurt them. It's a brand new season. They should use this period to unify their differences with their sex, to love each other, not to plot evil against each other, to eschew the political differences. Whether you are PDP, you are APC, or any party you belong, embrace each other. Our value, our core value is to serve our fatherland. Every one of us have a good intention. So whether you are APC or PDP, we should embrace each other and chant one cause. And our cause is to uphold what our fathers labor for us in this country, our heroes past.